So hi guys and welcome back to part two of annoying kinds of people. In this kind of video I just discuss like the different kind of annoying people that I find and situations that I find people where they're being annoying. If you're coming for a funny video this is probably the video for you. If you haven't seen part one I'll try and link it in the description. Well, part one similar to this you don't need to have watched that to see this video but I think it is worthwhile still watching the first part and then watching this video and following through from there on. So without further ado I'm going to get into the video now. So I've seen similar videos of this kind and they always go on about relatable stuff and stuff like that. So it's the same stuff like, oh, I hate autocorrect and all that. And that's the thing I want to bring different with this video. I don't want it to be the same as any other generic video. I want it to bring stuff that I personally find annoying and people, kinds of people I personally find annoying instead of just random stuff like the stuff you've seen on memes like 10,000 times. So one that's close to me is people who talk the talk and then they don't walk the walk. So they'll say they're going to do something like, say, for an ex so say if someone set a New Year's resolution to like lose weight, and then they go to the gym for a couple of days and then they just stop and they start complaining that they obviously they can't lose weight or whatever the whatever excuse that they use but i just hate these kind of people i hate these kind of people because you can't trust what they say like if they say if they say they're going to do something they won't follow through half the time so you can't take their word for anything so the second kind of annoying situation is when you're at a restaurant and you're trying to you're trying to order and you can't pick what you want for a meal but you, you've been looking at the menu for like 10, 10, 15 minutes. You just keep on staring at it, looking over the same stuff that you've already looked over. And you have to keep on telling the uh, waiter or what, whoever's coming to take your order, you have to keep on telling them, can I have a couple more minutes? And it's so annoying because you just want to order, but you can't decide or you can't even pick anything off the menu. And the next kind of annoying situation or people that I find is when you like, it's, it's related to the last one, when you're like in a restaurant and you're waiting for your food and you've waited and you ask how long it's going to be and they say like five minutes and then it ends up being like half an hour after that like often i used to go and watch um i used to go and get food and then i used to go and watch a film afterwards and it would always run over and it would sometimes run over where you'd be eating your food and your film would have started because it took that long so the next kind of annoying situation and it's one quite personal to me is group chats I cannot stand group chats unless you're actually making plans. Unless you're actually making plans for something or you're talking about plans, I think the most annoying thing ever because you'll, you'll go and have your tea or do, go and do something for like 10 minutes and you'll have missed half a story and you have to swipe all the way back up and if someone types something, then you get sent right back to the bottom. I, especially the ones where you've got like 10, 10 or more people in, like everyone's talking at the same time. And this next thing pisses me off so much. So you're about to go and eat your food or something like that and you're on your phone, you're on YouTube or whatever you're doing and you're about to eat your food or you're about to do something important or whatever and you're watching a YouTube video and the Wi-Fi goes off. Like the Wi-Fi always goes off. The Wi-Fi always goes off at the most like inconvenient time. And for me personally, it's always when I'm just about to eat, like the Wi-Fi will go down. So bad customer service. This is another one of my pet peeves because Say if you go somewhere and the waiter has been all cocky, it's been all cocky, but yeah, it's their job. And all you're trying to do is place your order or whatever. And they think that they're somehow above you. And I know it can work the other way around. Like, I, I am a waiter. I do know how it works, like, where the customers think they're above you just because you're a waiter or whatever. Can't stand it when the waiters just treat you like If you're nice to people, you get more tips, and then you'd earn more money at the end of the week. Like, it just doesn't make sense. And I get that everyone has an off day and everything, but these are people that are consistently cocky or bad way they just don't care about the customers at all so it's quite a general one this it's just spam emails so everyone gets them but it's when the same company keeps on emailing you day after like i think it was indeed.com kept on emailing me it completely puts you off that website because there's no point in go shopping that website that's just going to do that to you because you get put on their e put on their email list and you just get sent the same thing that everyone else is getting sending so it's not very personal it's probably not going to get that much turnover so i don't understand what the point is why they do it so i bet the people who live in like cities and stuff like that will understand this one is where you have to pay for toilets it makes absolutely no sense what like why the f do i have to pay to have a piss like it makes no sense and i get it just bringing a revenue in but why do you have to pay to have a piss like i always go to blackpool every year and you have to pay 20 pence to just get in the toilet so this next one's really controversial like i know a lot of people will probably get offended i know a lot of people probably won't like it but it's the truth for the majority of people so it's the people who complain about that they can't lose weight or they've got a slow metabolism or anything and then they don't make any effort really to eat properly or exercise properly like it's simple biology if you eat less then you're burning off and you're gonna lose weight. Like that's just how it works. And I kind of feel sorry for them because they tell themselves that 
so they don't have to lose the weight because they think it's out of the control but it's just another mechanism to stop them from actually losing the weight in the first place so another one that doesn't affect me too much but when it does affect me it annoys me so when you go on when you want them to go on the train it's this one's pricey train fares obviously a lot of people are encouraging public transport you know due to global warming and stuff like that but the cost of return tickets now are so high so i think that's half the problem why it puts people off like i can literally go in my car to the same place and probably save about a tenner depending on how far it is it could be even more so the next one's the delays at airports so you're like you're all ready to go on your holiday or you're coming back and you just want to get home or whatever whatever the situation is and you go to the airport you're already there you start you cut you get in you check in and then you find out that your flight's got like a three hour delay or a four hour delay you don't get any compensation or anything unless i think it goes over 12 hours or is it might even be 24 hours i've actually got quite a funny story like about five years ago i was traveling to greece i was traveling to greece and on the flight over it was it was delayed like three hours because turtles were on the beach. I'm completely environmentally friendly, like I understand, but surely there's an alternative way. It wasn't like the runway where it's straight from the uh, beach. And if turtles were really on the beach, I'm sure they'd have known. I'm sure they could have delayed us in advance instead of making us wait until we had already checked in and we're already in the airport. And they make you delay like three or four hours, it pisses me off. So the next kind of annoying people is people who smoke like right near you. I don't have anything against people who smoke. It's those in inconsiderate smokers where you'll just be sat right, where they'll just come and sit next to you on a bench or whatever and they'll start smoking. And it's not even about like how harmful it is to your body. I know that's bad as well. I know it's really bad as well, but it's the fact that they actually stink. Like I hate the smell of cigarettes. All right, so it's my favorite time of the video. It's song of the week time. And for this week's song, it's another remix. It's by Dave Winnell. This week it's a remix of Ghost Town. I don't know if you've heard the original. But I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a clip now. And if you don't know how it works, I play, I play a little bit of a clip of a song every week. If you comment below a song that I should listen to, I'll maybe feature it in the next video. It's like my favorite song that I've heard from that week. Just to let you know, this song is mad. <laughs> So the next kind of annoying situation is when you're in traffic and you're in your car and everything and you're just trying to get along with your day, you're trying to get to your destination, whatever. Then someone gets road rage, they get proper angry in the car. It's like, what's the point? You're like, you're getting nothing out of it. I know that they're just releasing their anger, but there's literally no point in what they're doing. I know everyone's got angry at least once because they wanted to get somewhere maybe and they're stuck behind someone. But you're not going to help the situation by getting angry. A lot of people don't respond well to it. So it's just pointless. So another kind of annoying situation is when you're trying to get an appointment at a doctor's or whatever, or a dentist, or where, whatever you're trying to get in, and they say like you have to wait three or four weeks, but if you've got a problem, you want to be in like straight away. It makes absolutely no sense to wait four weeks if you've got a problem. And they always say, if it's serious, go down to, they say if it's serious, go down to A&E or whatever, but you don't want to be taking up their time if there's nothing wrong with you. But if your symptoms are shown to, you think of the amount that gets spent on the NHS that you'd at least be able to get an appointment within the week that you phone. So I don't know if this next one's just for my area, but it's when buses don't arrive on time. Like they'll, they'll sometimes they won't even arrive, and they're every hour, and you wait, you've waited like half an hour or something, and then you expect it to come, and it just doesn't come. Or you get there five minutes early, and you find out it left like ten minutes early. It's just really bad customer service because if you ever get a train, it's always there on time and it always leaves. All right, guys, so thanks for watching the second part of this series. Hope you guys enjoyed. It might be a bit of a shorter video. I don't want to keep the videos long when this kind of short form video. I like to keep my breakdown videos like on different YouTubers a bit longer, but for this kind of funny, kind of relatable video, I just want to keep a bit shorter so I can keep new content every week. But thanks, guys, for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below.